Good day, class, and welcome to your first ever uh, business law subject. So you uh, you will be having uh, obligations and contracts. This is the foundation subject for all business law subjects. So before you get to other uh, business subjects, you, you have to first know obligations and contracts. So this subject is divided into uh, two parts. So one part is uh, obligations and the other part is uh, contracts. But before anything else, we first need to understand what the law is. We encounter this all the time. We use this all the time. And uh, it's a very important as a uh, business students to learn about uh, basic law. So let's begin. So what is law? Law is any rule of action or any system of uniformity. So the law says that uh, you have to act this way, you should not do this, or you should do this. Uh, that is law. So anything that calls for uniformity, so meaning na dapat ganyan, that is law. So what are the subjects of law? It, we have divine law. It is a uh, law of religion and faith. So if you're a Christian, you know about the Ten Commandments. That is divine law. Uh, we have natural law. This is divine inspiration of uh, in man of the sense of justice, fairness, and righteousness. It is not by divine revelation or formal promulgation. It is uh, regarded as the reasonable basis of state law. So let's talk about natural law class. All right, natural law. This uh, this states what you think is right, what you think is wrong. So ito yung hindi mo hindi kailangan may batas pa para isipin mo na ito yung tama, no? So that is uh, natural law. It's like um, doing good deeds to other persons. All right. You may not be obliged under state law, but under natural law, you are obliged to uh, to do good deeds for your neighbor. Parang ganyan, no? So that is natural law. No? Or parang, uh, for example, let's say may utang ka. Tapos ang utang kasi, pag uh, hindi ka sinisingil, no? Naku, huwag sana, ano, huwag niyong, huwag kayong masanay dito, no? Pag meron kayong utang, tapos hindi kayo sinisingil, let's say, uh, after 10 years, no? Under, you know, under the law, that is considered uh, prescribed under our under our civil law. No? Prescribed na yun. Sabihin, hindi ka na pwede kasuhan para magbayad, but utang mo pa rin yan. So dapat, you know, uh, magbayad ka pa rin. No? That's under natural law. Maaring hindi ka na pwede kasuhan, pero you're still obliged to pay kasi utang mo yan. Now we have a uh, moral law. Moral law is a uh, totality of the norms of good and right conduct growing out of the collective sense of right and wrong of every community. It influences or shapes state law to a great extent. Okay, so moral law, this varies per community. So any difference in natural law? A natural law, ito yung innate sense in man. No? A natural law, pang individual. Ano sa tingin mo yung tama, ano yung mali? Yung moral law, Ito yung sa community. This is community-based. Maari na itong action na to ay tama sa isang community na to, pero sa iba naman ay malik, no So it varies per community. We have a uh, physical law, laws of physical science or physical law, like uh, law of gravity, law of inertia. So gravity, you cannot deny gravity. No? We're all subject to gravity. Pag tumalun ka sa, ano, sa bahay mo, mahulog ka. Tumalun ka sa agdan, mahulog ka. So that is a physical law. And then we have state law. So this is law that is promulgated and enforced by the state. When you say state, ano to? Sabihin na state, bansa. No? The Philippines is a state. Alright, so yung Pilipinas, ang Pilipinas nagpatupad ng mga batas. All right, we will be discussing that later. There will be batas na pinapatupad ng Pilipinas. So this is also called a positive law. It is a rule of conduct. This is obligatory. It is promulgated by legitimate authority. 
So why is it obligatory? Kasi pag uh, hindi mo sinunod yung batas, makakasuhan ka. Okay? So what are, let's talk about the sources of law. Saan magaling yung mga batas natin? So we have the Constitution. The Constitution, <coughs> excuse me, the Constitution is, uh, is the fundamental law or highest law of the land. This is promulgated by the people themselves. These are laws or acts, uh, I mean, laws or acts contrary to the Constitution are void and without effect. Okay? So, class of Constitution, the Philippines has a Constitution. What is our current Constitution? The current Constitution is the 1987 uh, Philippine Constitution. It is also sometimes called the corny constitution because it was uh, promulgated at the time of uh, of President Cory Aquino's term. Okay, so ang uh, constitution natin sino ba gumawa niyan? Is it the people themselves? Lahat ba ng mga tao sa Pilipinas to convene para gumawa ng constitution? No, that is not the case. Ano ang yari? Merong framers ng constitution, no? Merong uh, framers ng constitution. Tapos nung nag-draft na ng Constitution, ano nangyari? Nagkaroon ng plebiscite. Ibig sabihin ng, ng plebiscite, nung, I'm sure hindi pa yung pinapanganak nung time na to, no? Nung time na yun, nung time na nag-draft yung uh, 1987 Philippine Constitution, this was voted upon by the people, by uh, registered voters during that time. No? So kung pahal sila sa Constitution, yun. So ito yung Constitution natin. So itong Constitution class, no? it's very broad, uh, tapos hindi pwede gumawa ng Congress ang uh, batas na taliwas or against sa Constitution. So Constitution natin dapat yung nananaig. No? So hindi pwede gumawa ng batas laban sa Constitution. Di ba ang Constitution batas din? Yes, batas din ang Constitution. But this is at the highest level. Ang Congress kasi gumagawa din ng sariling batas. No? I mean, Congress gumagawa ng batas yan. Bakit gumagawa pa ng batas ang Congress kung meron naman tayong Constitution? That is because, class, the Constitution is very broad. Now, the Congress has to fill in uh, gaps, no? Kasi like, may mga technology tayo ngayon, like internet, etc. Noong 1987, may, meron na bang internet? Wala pa. So Congress has, uh, as in many other things, no? not just the internet, Congress has to pass other specific laws provided that those laws are not against the Constitution. So we have legislation. So legislation, these are the Republic Acts or statutes enacted by the Congress of the Philippines. When we say Congress, ano to? Ang kwapasok sa isip natin, pag Congress, Congressman. Well, that is partially true. Pag sinabi natin cong Congress, it is composed of the Senate and the House of Representatives. So, mga senators, mga congressmen, ganyan. So, it includes uh, local ordinances enacted by LGUs. So, ang mga sanggunian natin, gumagawa din ng mga ordinance. Alright, ang ordinance, batas yan sa, sa community. Pati barangay, gumagawa din ng ordinance. Okay, but it is only exercised within that specific uh, jurisdiction. Alright, then we have administrative or executive orders regulations and rulings. Uh, it is intended to clarify or explain the law and implement the same. Uh, this is without force and effect if it is contrary to the Constitution and other laws. So, bakit meron tayong executive order? Ginagawa ang executive order para ma-implement, para, ma -ano, para mat matupad yung batas. No? Hindi pwede gumawa ng batas ang President, hindi pwede gumawa, gumawa ng batas si Mayor, ang Okay, so we have the administrative or executive orders, all right? We have uh, judicial decisions or jurisprudence. These are decisions of the Supreme Court, all right? They are laws by their own right. So we have the doctrine of precedent or stare decisis. Now, class, if you go to law school, marami kayong babasahin ng mga kaso. All right, bakit magbabasa ng mga kaso? Because... Kung ano yung decision doon sa kasong yun, yun din dapat ang i-implement no, sa mga next na kaso. So yung mga decisions na Supreme Court, they are also as good as law. 
Pero ang mga judge ba pwedeng gumawa ng batas? Hindi. Hindi pwedeng gumawa ng batas ang isang judge. The judge, the judicial or judiciary branch can only interpret laws, but they cannot. They cannot create laws. Then we have custom. Custom, these are habits and practices which have been acknowledged and approved by society. It includes local ordinances enacted by LGUs. Let's go on to the law on obligations and contracts. The law on obligations and contracts is found in the Civil Code of the Philippines. It was enacted in 1950. So ganyan kaluma yung batas natin. No? It's uh, 71 years old as of uh, making this video. Then we have a conclusive presumption of knowledge of law. Ang sinasabi dito, ignorance of law excuses no one from compliance therewith. Everyone is conclusively presumed to know the law. Anong iksabihin ito, class? Iksabihin ito, kahit, kahit let's say, inuhuli ka. Kasi kunwari, nagbenta ka ng pirated uh, DVD, kunwari lang. E bawal yun sa batas. No? We have copyright issues, etc., etc. No? Ngayon, nagbebenta ka ng pirated na DVD, hinuhuli ka ng police. Pwede mo ba defense na, teka, hindi ko man alam na bawal yan. The answer is no. Alright? Because everybody, everybody so joining in the Philippines is conclusively presumed to know the law. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na, teka, hindi ko man alam yung batas na yan. Hindi pwede ganun. Kahit hindi ka abogado, kahit hindi ka tapos ng pag-aaral, you are presumed to know the law. Now let us go to obligations. 